how to use ML or AI for quantity management, number of shares to be bought or sold, so as to maximize profit. How to create an ML model which can work well with the uncertainty of future stock prices based on historical trends. How can a model learn to improve its operations based on trading decisions taken by it earlier? Yeah, so three questions, yeah. So um, the capital allocation issue um, uh, has uh, you know machine learning soon has some uh, something to say about capital allocation uh, uh, at the most basic level um, a, um, a machine learning model will often provide a probability uh, so let's say you're talking about a classification model to see if a stock is going to go up or down uh, but the, the classification model will also provide the probability that it's going to go up or down not just the um, you know whether it will be so um, that probability can also often be used as an input to a capital allocation program naturally uh, the higher the probability that it's going to go up uh, you will allocate more capital to it and um, if it's high probability that is uh, less probability that it's going up you might uh, assign less capital to it and in if it says that it has equal probability to go up or down then obviously you should assign no capital to it uh, so that can, you know, that probability can certainly serve as an input to a capital allocation uh, program. Uh, now, uh, the other way uh, that ca it can impact capital allocation is uh, if you are trying to do um, uh, portfolio um, optimization uh, of a, a lot of instruments. Let's, for concreteness, let's say stock. Um, now you, you you would know that uh, there are many stocks that behave uh, very similarly. Uh, stocks such as um, Coca-Cola and Pepsi might go up or down together, or Google and um, you know Facebook might go up or down together, uh, and so forth. So um, one uh, goal of portfolio optimization is to utilize the um, the covariance uh, matrix of these stocks' return. Uh, so that um, if you have two stocks that are very similar, we don't uh, as, uh, allocate capital to them as if they are independent. So uh, in the limit, for example, that the two stock is simply class A and class B of the same company, <clears throat> you would not, you would hopefully just allocate half to each instead of, uh, you know, assigning a full unit of capital to each so that it would suddenly double the exposure to that particular company. So uh, the question is um, is the um, uh, the covariance approach uh, working and oftentimes it isn't uh, particularly uh, doing particularly well uh, because of the uh, uh, the fact that uh, oftentimes you have to take the inverse of a matrix and there are oftentimes a lot of singularities in taking the inverse of a covariance matrix that causes a lot of uh, uh, sensitivity problem and so machine learning uh, can help with that regard. Again, uh, in an idea that is uh, popularized by uh, Dr. Lopez de Prado, uh, you have uh, you can apply a hierarchical risk parity, where you use um, hierarchical clustering techniques to determine if two stocks, uh, well, at the highest level, you want to, <clears throat> uh, let's say, break up the stock universe into a uh, various big cluster. Maybe one cluster would be um, technology stock, another cluster would be commodity stock, and third cluster might be retail stock. But the machine learning algorithm would be able to do that on its own without you telling them that this is a retail stock or this is a um, uh, technology stock and so forth. So uh, after it clustered into some big cluster, it will continue to refine the clustering by breaking up the, let's say the retail stock into online retailers or brick and mortar retailer or whatnot and so on and so forth so that um, at the finest level you will find uh, in the beverage sector you will find coca and co coca and cola and pepsi and uh, or maybe even finer you might find that the, you have two classes of the stock you know sitting there at the at the leaf of this uh, hierarchy and you would try to uh, you would definitely use that uh, kind of hierarchy to allocate capital because in the beginning when you have the broadest um, classification into let's say a few big group you can assign your capital let's say um, 
you know equally among the big cluster and then as you go finer and finer in 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 the uh in the hierarchy you would divide your capital uh equally between the the leaves of of the hierarchical tree so that's uh that's another way where machine learning can help uh with um, uh with uh, capital allocation that this is in the form of a uh, uh, hierarchical clustering 